Hey everybody, Guitar Crate, February 2022, late Valentine's Day edition. So what Guitar Crate is, it's a subscription service where you can choose your level of involvement. There are six, seven, and I believe eight string options. There is acoustic and electric. There's also bass guitar and a pedal of the month club. You can check the website for full details on purchase price and all the things of that nature. This box here is $40 a month. That includes tax and shipping. So every month I receive a box this size with some goodies in it. We shake it up and we see what we have. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it. We'll mess up our cut on the box. I think I did last month too. Hopefully I don't lop a finger off closing this knife. And let's see what we got here. Get all this crap out. Okay, so what do we have this month? I'll get the strings out of the way. Uh, one of the viewers had mentioned about my pronunciation of Didario. I think I'm saying it correctly now. Uh, I had always read it Diadario or Didario, uh, but I guess it's Didario. Um, it's not like the, the hard sound, so it wouldn't be like Diadario, Didario, I guess is the correct way. But two packs of strings. Um, I choose these. I restrim my guitars quite often. There are strings that are better on the market, but they cost a lot more and they don't offer a lot more. I feel that this brand, this pack, it's the best bang for the buck, and I don't think anyone can change my mind because I've been doing it for so long. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's a great product, and the company stands behind it. I do want to point out, when you open these up, there's, it'll say, I'm going to cover part of it, it'll say player circle code here. You can redeem that on the website, and you can get... T-shirts, strings, cables, stuff like that. I redeem my points all the time when I get them. And if you restring enough, it's really worth it to sign up for an account. It's free. And if you do a lot of stuff uh, on their website, they have a recycling program. At least last I checked, they did. Uh, if you, Now, what they'll do is they'll send you a box. It has to be a couple pounds worth of strings. So this is more for a tech, a luthier, a shop, something along those lines. Um, but you save your strings. They recycle them. So if you're in the recycling, that's a cool way to recycle that. Um, but two packs of strings. Uh, we got a guitar strap here, and it looks like the strap comes with some hardware too, so let's open this up nicely uh, without cutting our finger off. Okay, so we get Rock Ready Snap Strap, and there are two sets of buttons with two different screw lengths and a white guitar strap. I actually have a guitar uh, with a white strap. Um, it's not, the white strap's not in that photo. Um, but one of my strats, I have a black strat and I put a white strap on it. And it was a really stupid idea because I always have to wash it because it shows dirt. But uh, it does look cool. It does pop on there. But let's see what this says here. Uh, cause, okay, I see what we got here. It's clip lock style. They have it, um, what do you want to say? Trust like a chicken, we'll say. But it's zip tied close so you can't take it apart. So I cut it. At least I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is uh, similar to how a DiMarzio clip lock is um and let's see here does it say for the installation instructions rock ready snap strap mounts most guitar yeah okay Remove the strap ends yep select included yep assemble the new by pushing the screw through it yep okay so it appears what you do is you put the strap on and you pop it through here like this and then it just stays on the guitar through the span of that. So I'll give that a shot here. I actually have a white guitar coming. I'll do a review of it. So we'll put these on it if they work out well. But so we have a strap that, I don't know, it feels pretty good quality to me. I don't think you're going to tear that on your own. Um, but that's pretty good. What else we got here? We got string cleaner and instrument polish wipes. These are handy. Um, I use them sometimes when I have them laying around. Oftentimes what I'll do is when I sell a guitar or someone, uh, you know, they spend a lot of money on something, especially now with sales tax being charged on everything. You, you sell something on any of the big websites, even used, these folks have to pay sales tax on it, which is kind of weird because say I bought it brand new, I, I pay tax on it, I sell it to a guy, he paid tax on it, another guy sells it, pays tax on it. This thing's getting taxed 10 times over if it, if it changes hands a lot. But uh, I'll throw stuff like this in or some of these other goodies. Uh, but what else we got? Uh, we have a Music Nomad spanner wrench. I have a couple of these, and I don't need to open this one to uh, show you, but on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see this, but it's black, 
uh, and the top's the chrome. So what that black is, it's a piece of foam on double stick tape. You put it on. That way, when you're working on the body of the guitar, you don't scratch it up. I mean, you should use care anyway, but just another level of precaution. And we have a capo. Try action capo, it says. So... The patent of tri-action capo reduces the force required to open and close the capo and applies even tension regardless of the neck profile. Combined with the micrometer tension adjustment and horizontal pressure. That's above my pay grade. That is definitely above my pay grade for a capo. I don't particularly play with a capo. For me, I use a capo as a diagnostic tool. I've went over this in a few videos, but so you want to check the relief on the neck and you're looking around the eighth fret and you're looking for the balance where well, you're using your first finger to hold the first string and your last finger to hold, um, I'm sorry, the, the first fret and your last finger to hold the last fret. Well, if you put a capo on, now you have a hand all the time and you can use this one to check things or you could have the capo here, use this hand to hold the fret and you could use your dominant hand to work on the guitar. So for me, a capo is a tool to work on guitars, not to play guitars. Uh, but for acoustic guitar players, having a good quality capo is very, very important. Uh, I know a lot of guys, they play songs in several different tunings and this is how they adjust to it on the fly, it shows. So, okay, this month we got two wipes, tri-action capo, Music Nomad spanner wrench, snap strap by Rock Ready with the hardware, two sets of strings from Dario, and that is the guitar crate for February 2022. I have a guitar coming that I'm going to review. The review will be up probably this week. Uh, I hope to be by the weekend, and I also have been promising a video on the LTD uh, Black Metal. That video should be coming soon. Um, in addition to that, I, I've been talking about this. Uh, the things that your guitar teacher will teach you, but they would rather not have to teach you because they want to teach you music. And the things that I want to show in this upcoming video, they're not music, but they're things that will help you play music. So I have that planned. I promise I'll get that out here soon, but I don't want to drone on too long because I know for you to watch this video, you snuck away from your desk, you went to the bathroom and you put headphones in. Don't lie. I know you did it. And if you stay too long, your boss is going to send out a search party. So we'll come at you with the new video on the guitar I'm going to review. It's going to be a big secret. Um, on top of that, the LTD Black Metal, that has to come up. I've been promising it for, I think, six months now. And the beginner technique video, I really think, would be beneficial to a lot of folks. Uh, those will be all coming up. And then next month, there'll be another guitar crate. So the next guitar crate will be March 2022. I hope you all take care.